Boy is overjoyed to learn actual value of his $2 painting at Antiques Roadshow. He has a keen eye for valuable things. His name is Stephen Padlow of Upper Pittsgrove, New Jersey. He's probably one of the youngest peace collectors we've ever seen. In fact, that's what David Weiss, an appraiser of Freeman's in Philadelphia, PA, told him when they met at an episode of the Antiques Roadshow. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. If you're quite familiar with the show, it's definitely something that's pretty much not for kids. However, young Steven seemed to be born with a different spirit and set of likes. At 11 years old, Steven already has the talent for picking good finds. Despite the age gap, Weiss still treated the young boy with the utmost respect, just like what he would normally do to an adult client. Steven was equally cordial to the expert in front of him. Before going straight to the piece the young boy brought, the two had a friendly conversation first. You must be the youngest collector I've seen, Weiss says at one point, to which the preteen replies, I must be. Weiss said, You like buying and selling things? Stephen said, Big time. The young fella is definitely a collector in the making, wouldn't you agree? He told Weiss he's fond of collecting glass, sterling silver, and art pieces. A piece of art or a piece of crap? Stephen told Weiss a short story about how he ended up taking home the piece that he brought to the auction. This piece was found at an auction down in South Jersey, he explained. It was so hot there, my dad didn't want to stay to get it, but I wanted to, so we waited an hour or so and I got it for two bucks. The preteen's way of thinking is definitely beyond his young age. What's even more astonishing is his desire in collecting art pieces, particularly vintages just like this one. Weiss told his young client that the piece that he bought was likely done in the late 19th century. As the painting shows, it looks like pretty much a mother and a child sitting. The mother looks like she's sewing or knitting something while cooking. Her daughter, on the other hand, is holding a toy and patiently waiting for her. It's pretty much a household scene, if I may say. The young boy pointed out to a signature. Who knows? The signature might lead to the art's origin or creator, and Stephen was so eager to know. He told Weiss he can only read the first name, which was Albert. The expert told him the last name reads Newhouse. It's a watercolor painting by Albert Newhouse, a Dutch painter who lived from 1844 to 1914. During his time, Albert Newhouse painted interior scenes with peasants as his main art subjects. He'd often sketch families, portraying the lives of local farmers and weavers. The expert appraisal even commended the young boy from New Jersey and told him he might have a career as an art collector. I think you've got a great career going as an art dealer. You ought to keep at it. Time to reveal its real worth. Albert Newhouse made copies of his watercolor paintings, thus resulting in very few of them being one of a kind. Young Stephen also seemed to have done his homework about the piece. Whatever he discovered in his research convinced him it's worth something, possibly around $150. But Weiss told him it's worth more than that amount. You too wouldn't believe how much this artwork is worth. The kid's reaction was priceless upon hearing the amount. You don't like spoilers? me either. Please share this with your friends and family.